What's up my crazy subscriber? This is Joking Jaws 34 and today I'm here to bring you guys some Overwatch gameplay. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. And by the way, I'm using the character called Reaper. This guy is a total badass. You can teleport, you can turn invisible, you have two shotguns in your hands. So what else do you want to take out people from short range? It's gonna be an incredible character and I cannot wait to use him in the full game. So if you guys enjoyed the gameplay, make sure to leave a like. So anyways, moving on to the main topic of today. I've been watching several YouTubers out there and yes, I'll admit it for this time that I've been watching some small YouTubers out there you know playing overwatch and uh, you know what I've been hearing from a bunch of these people saying that um, you know they've been saying that overwatch will win game of the year how is that even possible to be honest like I mean overwatch is a total like overall good game it's a good multiplayer game to be honest it does offer a lot of characters a lot of skills for those characters a lot of weapon differential and uh you know it's a good thing you know it keeps it will keep me entertained for the next few months maybe like all the way till summer and um you know it does offer a good amount of things for multiplayer but the thing is does it have enough things to make a game of the year i mean to make a game of the year like to me in my opinion it has to be like it has to have a story to begin with and it has to have more details and go more de in depth when it comes down to weapons and skills and maybe even more like into the backstories of the characters like it would have been badass to play as a certain character and play their story like for example uh you choose my character which is reaper and you play like around seven missions seven story mode missions and um you know you'll know the backstory of the reaper and you know then you do the same with thing with the other characters like it will allow you to like learn more about their stories and uh it's gonna be more developmental you know it's gonna you're gonna it's gonna add more detail in, within the game which makes it even worth more so seeing that this game is only multiplayer i don't think it's possible for this game to win game of the year maybe it can win like the top three first person shooter games of the year because you know battlefield 1 is gonna come out destiny 2 is gonna come out titanfall 2 is gonna come out call of duty infinite warfare and i believe this is the category that this game needs to stay on because it's just an fps you know it's just an fps multiplayer game it does not offer a lot and within you know detail tells a background story of the characters if it did maybe it could but there's other tons of other games out there that might deserve it like for example um what's that that game called the uh, uncharted 4 maybe that game has a you know potential to win game of the year because it does have more backstory than any other freaking game i did see some gameplay on it and god damn it does have a lot of cutscenes. it offers more about what the hell nathan drake has been doing like maybe that one can win game of the year because it does offer more details within the story it does have a story and you know overwatch over here only has a story but like as an animated film so it's separate from the disc I mean, game of the year can only come within like, uh, what does the disc offer? To be honest, that's what's been every single year. Like, if it's like separate, like imagine if Metal Gear would have won the game of the year, but the multiplayer would have been separate, the story mode would have been separate. Like, but as a movie, you can only play the multiplayer as a disc, but you can you can only see the story as a movie. Like, can Metal Gear still win game of the year like that? I don't think so. Like, it it just it does question a lot of things, guys. So, um. To all the people, you know, I love this game. I really do. I really want to pick it up day one. I'm going to do an unboxing about the, you know, the little gorilla and everything. I love this game. I really want it to succeed. And, um, but this cannot make it game of the year. Maybe top three FPS games, but not game of the year. I don't really see it at all uh, in, in any kind of way to make it possible. Maybe you can if people try to troll the gaming industry, but... You know, I really do not see it. If it offered like an RPG element, maybe it can, to be honest. And, uh, you know, have more weapons for certain characters every time you can level up a character. Um, you know, maybe offer a story behind the characters, do certain missions or something, like I said in the beginning of the video. You know, maybe it could be considered game of the year. It would have been best like an RPG element, though. But, you know, at the same time, it wouldn't work because then it wouldn't be Overwatch how it is now. So, anyways. Uh, what is your situation about this whole thing guys? Uh, do you guys think this can win game of the year? Or is it just in top 3 FPS game of the year? Because I know it cannot win game of the year. It just it just can't. As a multiplayer, it just can't. They should have added the story, man. And maybe it could have been contender. But I you know the graphics are nice. The gameplay is nice. I love the skill set. I love the characters. It's just that it cannot make it, man. Sorry it's about being negative, but like to all the Overwatch fans, this game cannot win game of the year. So that's it, guys. If you guys want to hear more topics about Overwatch and also the Overwatch game is going to come out at midnight. I'll be putting on some gameplay this whole week. So if you guys are ready for that game and ready to see some Overwatch in my channel, subscribe for more because there's more crazy stuff coming up.